Well, good Friday morning to you. I'm Pastor Jay, and this is the devotional time. Well, hallelujah and praise God. I hope that you've had a glorious and wonderful week in the Lord thus far. This morning, I want to talk just a little bit about changes of life, how how your life has been changed since your salvation experience. You know, uh, if you've been watching the news any this week, we're, we're supposed to get a, uh, a good bit of snow sometime this afternoon going throughout the night and finishing up sometime tomorrow morning. And so, Therefore, if we look outside right now, compared to when we look outside tomorrow, there's going to be a major change that has taken place. Um, you know, when we look at the at what God does in our lives upon our salvation experience, there too should be a, a change in our life, and it should be pleasing unto God. And I want to talk about that just for a few moments this morning. Before we do, let us pray. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, God, Lord, we just love you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus for this wonderful and beautiful Friday morning. Father God, I'd ask you to touch this online congregation, bless them, heal those who are sick. Lord God, bring those who are sin sick unto repentance. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Well, following along after Christmas and after the birth of Christ, and we're gonna be walking through the ministry of Christ out at LFBC over the next uh, couple of weeks and, and, and months. And and so we're gonna be looking at, at, at the, our Lord and Savior's walk through life. And I wanna look real quickly this morning at the baptism of Jesus. This is a, a familiar passage, familiar uh, set of scripture to many of you. I'm going to look at, at chapter 3 of, of uh, St. Matthew. I'm going to look at verse 16 real quick and just hit 16 and 17. So follow with me. It says, and after being baptized, Jesus went up immediately from the water. I like that, immediately from the water. And behold, the heavens were opened and he saw the Spirit of God descending as a dove and coming upon him. And behold, a voice of the Lord out of the heavens saying, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So it says, immediately coming out of the water and being baptized by John the Baptist, said he, he saw a, a, a dove descending from the heavens as the Spirit of God and descending upon him. Then a voice out of the heaven saying, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. You know, when you get saved, when you have your salvation experience, the Bible says that we are sealed with the Holy Spirit of God, that, that we have been sealed at this point and nothing can pull us out of the hands of God, amen? And so upon that being sealed, our life has been changed. And what are we doing with that life, this new life, this new, this new salvation life that we have? What are we doing with that in order to, to see a change, whether in the kingdom of God or to see how God's view of us has changed? We see that Jesus, upon his baptism, which we'll look at as salvation, upon his baptism, that the Lord descended his spirit upon him as a dove, as the Lord descends the Holy Spirit and seals us when we accept Jesus Christ and are covered with his blood, right? And so as we see outside tomorrow that there is going to be a major change take place if all the forecasts are right, that we're going to see a covering of snow uh, throughout the area. There should be a covering of blood that comes upon you, upon your salvation experience, and some things should change. Now, it's not always an immediate change of, of every big thing in your life, but there will be a immediate change on the inside of you. And that is because the Holy Spirit has come upon you and sealed you. Now, I look at this. It says in this final portion, it says, this is my beloved son and who, am I, well, who I am well pleased. Upon your salvation experience and now, I don't know how long you've been saved, five minutes or five years or 50 years. But my question to you is, are you living a life where the Lord himself looks upon you and says, with my son, my adopted son, or my daughter, my adopted daughter, I am well pleased. You see, our, our goal should be to live a life that is pleasing to our heavenly father. You see, he has given us his only begotten son, that whosoever shall believeth on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. He sent him to a cruel Roman cross to take the judgment of mankind upon him on that cross and die, his only begotten son. And so when we accept his son as savior, 
when we accept the blood of Christ to cleanse us, to pour over our lives, there should be a change in which God himself is well pleased with you. He is well pleased with his son. And when we accept his son and we live a life for his son, God is well pleased with us. Well, hallelujah and praise God. Well, dear ones, as you go off to work or to school or to play this morning, remember these things. That just as when the snow before it comes, it looks one way after it comes, it will look another way. Before Jesus is in your life, you'll look one way after Christ comes into your life, you should look another way. And when we're living for Christ, when we're living under the covering of his redeeming blood, our God in heaven, our Father in heaven will be well pleased with us as well. Well, hallelujah and praise God. Well, there again, my name is Reverend Jay Warwick. I'm the pastor at Lewis Fork Baptist Church. If you do not have a home church, let's come out to LFBC. I know that you'll be happy to see what Jesus Christ is doing there. Have a great day. Join us at www.lewisfork.org for all of my newest sermons. Go out today. Show this world that your heavenly Father is well pleasing you because you've been covered with the blood of his Son. Hallelujah and praise God. Have a great day and God bless you today.